everyone, welcome back to the Gold Technical Analysis session with Mukmik again. So, yesterday the Gold was a little bit naughty for us, but there was the reason behind that because we had the QM by um, plant, right? But the Gold actually chose to use a classic divergence plant. So, let me give you a little recap on that so we will have a lesson learned together, okay? So, let's go straight to the chart. This one was our plan yesterday. However, if you can tell our buying plan, hit the stop loss because I suggest you to put your stop loss below this swing low. However, the price shows this classic divergence of the 4 hours time frame but actually if we chose to uh, to use the classic divergence it would be around this region which is around 1803 to 1800. Alright, so it did not really use this plan as well. So. It's okay, we just need to give up and move on to the next plan. So the next plan that we had was the selling ones. But for the selling plan, I did not enter it myself. Why is that? Because there was no confirmed here. And when the, the price actually came up to test this supply zone, there was a very important report yesterday. So there was tricky also to trade once the report is out so be careful on that all right i would not place any pending order or enter my trades during the hours of the report so for the goal i usually cancelled all my order 30 minutes before the report came out and also 30 minutes after the report came out so that's the trick for you guys if you don't want to you know take so much risk on you know how the report is going to be out so that's done for yesterday at least we've got something to learn and for today let's go straight to the daily time frame so in the daily time frame nothing changed it is still being a downtrend with this demand zone all right and this supply zone is where the price is now here and for the 4 hours time frame, what we have is that the price could break this swing high that I told you yesterday that this swing high is pretty significant because it's the swing that make the price to do the lower low here, the lowest one. So that's really, really important breakout for today. So for this 1827, I would say it could be a uh, support however we have a new one here at around 1823 so that's the support for today all right what about the resistance we are having our next resistance here at 1833 which we sent out our signal already all right and oh we have a new demand zone here from the one hour time frame so if you enter selling order, please be careful this demand zone. Why do we have to be careful? Because we have a support here as well at 18.30. Let me see the 15 minutes time frame. Okay, so in the 15 minutes time frame, we are having our low twice, which is the, um, the goal strategy that we had. So 18.33 would be our selling point, but we will go for only 300 points for this plan. All right, just a little dip that it will make. Okay, so for the buying plan in the one hour time frame, I would say 18.30 is quite interesting for the one hour time frame. Okay, and also this support as well at 18.20 and we have our QM buy plan also and it is going to be around 18.15 which we have sent this signal on our telegram already alright so QM buy from 18.15 to 1810 okay for the selling plan we are only having this resistant very close one 
at 1830, but 1833, sorry, but this one just a little dip, okay, just 300 points, and you should take your profit. Why? Because there's the reversal signals here, which is the classic divergence that I take you through yesterday. So we need to be really careful on the selling side. All right. So those are the plans for today. I hope you enjoy watching it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And also, please click the subscribe button for us. And don't forget to follow me on Bravo Trade Academy Global in our new fan page and we are publishing our english content every monday and wednesday so i'll see you tomorrow bye